Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to cook a quick little breakfast. Um, I'll use this. I am going to make um, an egg over hard on a slice of toast. So I'm, I usually do two. So I'll usually have like two eggs over hard and then I'll um, have two pieces of bread. But today, um, it's already, I had, I slept in. So it's already 9.35 and I figured I'm gonna be eating lunch in a couple hours. And um, so I don't really need to eat heavy for breakfast, I guess. <laughs> One slice of toast with egg is good enough. And then I have strawberries, a fresh batch of strawberries that I had bought while I was, I have a little toaster oven if you're wondering. Like, we don't have a toaster, we use a little toaster oven <laughs> from our good old um, apartment days. And so I usually have two of these. If I, do, if I do the toast with egg, this is usually what I do. And I usually have two of them, but it's late. I'm going to have lunch in a couple hours. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have sushi for lunch. So I figured I don't really need to have two because I can indulge in lunch later. Um, so hopefully you guys can see. I think you guys can see. Okay. Now, <laughs> one of you wanted to see how I make my breakfast. So I have the camera. I'm not gonna, I don't want it too close. I'll just have it like right there so that you guys could see what I'm doing. Um, but when I make my egg, I usually, I don't use this burner because um, I have to light it with a match because it's, it's not working. So, <laughs> and I don't want it too close to the camera. So I'm gonna cook over here. Um, but anyway, when I cook my egg over hard, I put the flame on, I crack the egg. I have a little bit of oil olive oil or you can use coconut oil. I have coconut oil and I just crack, whoa, there's two yolks in there. So I just crack the egg on top of the oil and um, I break the yolk up and it kind of just spreads out on its own. Um, and I let it kind of cook a little bit. So because I just turned the flame on, it's gonna take a little bit longer for it to start cooking. And while it starts to do that, I just sprinkle some pepper onto the egg. And my water's already boiling for my coffee. And then I, <laughs> cause I'm lazy, so I buy pico de gallo from the market. It's already sliced, diced um, onions, tomatoes, green pepper, whatever. Um, it's only a little bit of green pepper, so it's not that much, but, um, <laughs> it makes everything so much easier, so I don't have to dice up my own thing. So, I usually just kind of sprinkle some pico de gallo on top of the egg, and then sometimes if I have it, I'll put crab meat on it too, but I don't have any crab meat right now, um, So it's already kind of starting to cook. And that's it, I just like let it cook a little bit and then I flip it and then I let it cook on the other side. Um, but it's really easy and it's really fast and that's what I like about it because it's really easy and it's really fast. So, now this is a new pan that my husband bought me so <laughs> it doesn't stick so it's easier for me to like maneuver it around and flip it. But my older pan, which was a little bit smaller, um, would suck because it would stick and it was, just, oh my gosh, it was just, it was almost impossible to get a perfect egg out of it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so watch, now that I'm talking about being able to flip, I'm probably not going to be able to do it. But, you know, because you guys are all watching me right now. Oh, there. I just totally, totally fucked it up. Oh well. <laughs> I think it was too heavy because of the peak of the guy I put it right in the center, but that's okay. I don't like runny yolk, so.
So um, I always have to make sure. Oh, my, my bread. Wow, it cooked fast. I was like, why is my toast? Why does it smell like it's burning? Because this one is burning. It got too, a little too charred for my taste. Put you over there. All right. Flame down a little bit. <laughs> so I have two pieces of my Abel Ricard, but. But yeah, I don't like runny yolk. I like to have the yolk cooked for the most part. So as long as it's not runny, then I'm good. So this is done. So I just set it aside um, so that it doesn't burn. And I'm gonna have to put another piece of bread <laughs> in um, my toaster because I overdid it. I wasn't paying attention to it. How wasteful. Actually, it's not wasteful because I really don't go through a whole loaf of bread by myself. Um, like, this is like it is because I made roast beef sandwiches for myself and my husband the other day. So we were able to, like, use more of the bread. But when it's just me, I don't go through a whole loaf. And that's times like that is when I wish I had my mom's dogs over because, <laughs> because I could feed them the extra bread. Um, so sometimes like if I have extra bread like that or if I make like my blueberry muffin thing and I obviously I don't eat the whole thing because it's a lot. Um, so I'll have like one, like I'll have two pieces of it for breakfast one morning and then I'll have another two pieces the following morning and then the, the leftovers when I go visit my parents because I always visit them once a week. I bring the dogs bread and they always know whenever I come visit that they have bread. <laughs> Which is probably bad because I'm sure they don't need to be eating that, but they're they're so they're they they love it. So I give them that, but um, but yeah, I just want to make sure I keep an eye on my my toast. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't want to waste another one. And then I have my favorite mug. I have to heat up the water for my coffee because I don't have a coffee maker, so I do it the good old fashioned way. My little toasty toasty. <laughs> Let me move you over here. We really need a toaster, but we had one actually, and then it broke. My husband was he was trying to cook his pop tart, and it like wouldn't get hot. So I was like, "Yeah, that one's ready for the trash." <laughs> okay, so then I have to flip it because it only cooks one side. Well, that the other side's kind of it's kind of somewhat toasted, but I'll let it do it just for a little bit. And then my egg is ready to go. And so I don't have avocado. I wish I had avocado, but I don't. So I'm just going to put the toast with the egg, a little bit of ketchup, and um, some cheese. And um, I could cut up my strawberries, but I got to keep an eye on that. Walmart the other day and I ended up getting all of my breakfast stuff and I got all of my like the things on my household list I don't know why that little light isn't on I probably totally didn't do it right but like are you toasting or no I think it is I don't know this thing is weird The little light's supposed to turn on. How come every 
everything doesn't work when I have you guys watching me. Like, I'm an idiot. Like, I don't know how to cook. <laughs> like, I promise I know what I'm doing. I mean, I... This is like one of my favorite breakfasts to make for myself, but my husband actually likes it too because it's just quick and it's like you get your little toast and you get an egg and he doesn't like anything on his eggs though. He's really boring. All right, I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for you. Then I just scoop the eggy. Sometimes I'll put the egg on um, the paper towel if I have too much oil to, to clean it. So I'm gonna do that right now. But for the most part, it's good. dab it to get the oil the excess oil off my egg it's not a lot because I, I try not to pour too much of it but you know so there you go so there's my eggy on toast you guys could add avocado to that you guys could add some bacon like turkey bacon um whatever you guys want I'm going to Ooh, look at these big old strawberries. I'm gonna have some strawberries. I think I'll have, no, I'll just have that. That's enough. I love when the strawberries are really big. And then I always cut the tops off and I cut them in half if they're really big like this. Strawberries are probably my most favorite thing to eat with my breakfast. And if I'm really feeling naughty, I'll have like a spoonful of Nutella. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that today. I think I'll just I'll be good with my egg sandwich thing and, and this. So I usually have about five four or five strawberries, it just depends on how big. So this was only four strawberries because it was a big, those are big ones. <laughs> Walmart actually had some really pretty strawberries. Usually they don't, they don't have pretty ones. And, um, and then I do my coffee. So that's breakfast. So that's another breakfast I like to have. I don't just have um, I don't just have blueberry bread or whatever. Like you guys were like, is that all you've eaten? I'm like, no. <laughs> Sometimes I'll scramble an egg. Sometimes um, I'll make oatmeal, but I have to buy raspberries for that because I like to have raspberries and a little bit of blue sh um, blue, a little bit of um, of brown sugar. taste it to make sure mm, mm. coffee all right and then I have a little bit of cheese so this is just some like four cheese blend I just I love to buy a bag and keep it I put this on my tacos I'll put this on my my eggs, I just sprinkle a little bit of cheese. I try not to put too much. Um, and that's it. Oh, I put the ketchup away. I didn't even put ketchup on my egg. And then I'll um, sprinkle, or I'll sprinkle. I'll put just a, oh, well. So I'll put a little bit of ketchup. And that is breakfast. Okay. Hi, guys. So, I'm gonna have uh, eating, having my breakfast, eating with you guys. I'm in like a ratty old shirt that 
has like stains all over it. I'm not wearing any makeup today. <laughs> it's just a, one of those easy days. I'm giving myself the day off. Literally from mm, napkin. I'm giving myself the day off from TCM. It's my day off from the library, but I was with my husband all day yesterday and my in-laws, and then um, I was I, ha I was by myself Saturday, but I was working on my wreath and <laughs> I didn't do readings, and I just it wasn't a reading to me. I just didn't feel like doing readings this weekend. So, I'm sorry, but I'll get back into it. I'll get back into it next week. Yum. Mm. <laughs> mm. So, this week I'm going to be... Um, <clears throat> well this week today <laughs> today I'm going to not only enjoy just my time like my day off I'm gonna watch some Netflix I'm going to read but I'm also going to ooh, my hair's all frizzy <laughs> fresh out of the shower um I'm also going to go to the Dollar Tree right after I'm done with breakfast that's why I have my shorts on like I may be like you can't see it my little denim shorts <clears throat> So I may not have any makeup on or whatever, but I'm ready to go out the door. Um, I wanna get stuff, a couple, just a couple things to make a wreath for my mom. So she saw the, the Halloween one that I made and she was like, that is so cute. I can't believe you made that. And I told her it was fun and it kind of clears my head because I'm focusing on that. So I'm not really like, you know, thinking about how lonely I am and how much I miss my husband. <laughs> and so it was just a nice, it's a nice activity to do uh, outside of the tarot world. And I love tarot, you guys, but I also do tarot as my job. Like TCM is my other part of my, my financial support. <laughs> so I, I work at the library part-time and then I do TCM part-time. And when you do readings as part of your job, I don't like calling TCM my job, but I guess that's what it is. Like when it's part of my financial support, um, when you do readings for your job, it, they're fun, like you still love to do them, but you feel like you need a break from them every once in a while, or you need to give yourself a day off. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and every other Saturday, so this Saturday, I will be working at <clears throat> the library, the day job. So that means every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, is TCM okay so I, I do readings and on the four days that I'm not working at the library well <laughs> that means I'm working seven days a week basically so that's why sometimes like Fridays sometimes I don't do readings Fridays because Fridays is like my day to go grocery shopping and you know clean up around the house or whatever and um, I didn't do any readings on Saturday because I was working on my wreath for myself. It was like my own little thing. And then Sunday, I didn't do any readings because I was with my husband all day. I dedicated that whole day for him um, because I didn't get to see him on Saturday. So I was like, I didn't get a day off this week. Like, yeah, I was dedicating my time with my husband, but we were at my in-laws most of the day. And so I didn't really get to like lay around the house and be lazy, you know, I was running around and Friday I was, I was somewhat lazy Friday, but I was cleaning house too. And then um, Saturday I was literally doing the wreath all afternoon. <laughs> the first half of Saturday I was with my husband and then he left to go do his ride along around, around 1.30. And then literally from like, I think it was like around two, I went to go Dollar Tree shopping and then I started the wreath and then I was working on that. And next thing I knew it was like seven o'clock in the evening. So I didn't get anything else done. <laughs> um, and so I was like, I feel like I didn't get a day off this week. Um, and I'm like, I need a day off. Like I need a time just for me. So that's what today is. <laughs> and I'm going to live it up. I'm going to enjoy it. So that's what I'm doing today. And 
I'm like, I'll make my mom a wreath. I'm curious to see how it comes out. And if I like it, I might make one for myself. So my mom's not into Halloween stuff, <clears throat> but she loves pumpkins and scarecrows. So I told her I'm gonna try to put one together that's just fall, like leaves and stuff. See how it comes out. And if I like it, I'll probably want to make one for myself. <laughs> so we'll see if Dollar Tree has the stuff. Mm. We'll see what I could do. If I can make magic happen. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, so that's all I'm going to do today, you guys. Really simple day. I wanted to keep it simple. <laughs> and then I go to work tomorrow through Thursday. <clears throat> I'm off Friday. And then Saturday I work. And then I'll be... I'm going to do readings Friday, Saturday. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to do readings Friday, Sunday, and Monday. So if you guys are waiting for an order, it'll be delayed a few days. But I got to give myself a break. Mama needs a break. Mama needs a day off. So that's what I'm going to do. And I told myself, because I'm giving myself a day off, no makeup, no makeup, Rose, because I wear makeup all the time. I wear it to work. And if I'm working, I'm wearing makeup. Um, when my husband comes home, I'm wearing makeup. He's always like, babe, why are you wearing makeup? Because I want to look pretty when you come home. Like, I don't want you to just come home and when you haven't seen me in a whole week. And I'm like, I look like I rolled out of bed. Like, I told him I want, I just want you to see, I want to be pretty for you. <laughs> he thinks I'm crazy. So I, I always wear makeup when he comes home now. So today is the one and only day. No makeup. I washed my hair and it's just all frizzy. It's just all natural today. <laughs> my eczema was itching me so bad today, you guys. Like, it was so itchy, like, under my nose and then my eye, the corner of my eye. So I was, like, kind of, like, just touching it, like, like tapping it, but trying not to, like, itch it. And so I put some um, Vaseline on it and I feel a little bit better. But... <laughs> Yeah, and when I put makeup on, I keep the patches open. So I don't put foundation like in this section of my nose and I don't put foundation in the corner of my eye. <clears throat> and I that's been helping my eczema like, or whatever the shit is. It doesn't, um, it doesn't get as purple. Like the skin doesn't get as scaly and purple. I know that sounds nasty, but it was getting really purple the corner of my eye. And so it hasn't really gotten like that. It gets kind of, it heals up pretty nicely, but it doesn't go away. So um, it helps that I'm not putting makeup on it. So, <laughs> And then I painted my nails yesterday because I was getting tired of looking at that, ooh, excuse me, that yellow stain on my nail. Ooh, excuse me. That yellow stain on my nails. So I painted them yesterday. I painted them like a, <coughs> a um, oh, I'm, my nose is all, congested because of my sneezing this morning I painted them like a charcoal gray so I think it looks really nice it looks pretty nice I did the same with my toes too so yes and I think I'm gonna keep this color for my husband's graduation it's in three weeks so I'm gonna repaint my nails and my toes because the gray the charcoal gray will kind of go with the teal dress that I'm wearing and um, I don't know yet if I'm gonna wear sandals with my dress to his graduation or if I'm gonna wear my flats. And if I wear my flats, I have pointy toe, like um, like nudish color flats, but they have little speckles to make them look like they're animal print, but they're not really animal print. It's just like speckled. So it doesn't really go with the dress, but then it kind of does. It's kind of like a mis mismatch pattern kind of a thing. So the, the whole idea of it being a nude shoe goes with the teal dress with the floral print. Um, but it doesn't, when you really look at it, it doesn't really go together. But I, I don't give a fuck because I'm not going to buy new shoes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to do that because the minute I step in to try to shop for one thing, I end up leaving with like 10 other things that I don't need. So I'm like, I'm just going to use what I have for my shoes. So it's either sandals. If it, the weather is nice enough, I'll wear the sandals, um, which I just have some, you know, you guys, have, I think you guys have seen me wear them. Like they're brown strappy sandals. Um, so I'll wear that or I'll wear the flats. So I'll probably pack both of them just in case I can make up my mind last minute, but I ain't buying shoes. Like I, 
I've already been like building my credit card because of how to pay for my flight. I had to pay for the hotel. Um, I had to pay for his flight that he's gonna be flying in in two weeks. So it's just been expensive. <laughs> I'm like, I don't need to be buying clothes, any more clothes. I already have what I need. So the other days that I'm gonna be up there, I have jeggings I'm gonna wear, my black pants, and I just have some blouses that I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'm just gonna figure it out. <laughs> But yeah, so there's that. Um, but anyways, you guys, I'm gonna end this video so I can eat, and then um, maybe I'll do a little bit, a couple more videos to show you. I kind of wanted to do like a vlog today, so we'll see how that goes, but I wanna eat my breakfast, so bye guys. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm back and I'm ready to roll. So, <laughs> I went to Dollar Tree. I have like that look on my face and I also have a margarita. I don't think I'm going anywhere else the rest of the day. So I think I can have a margarita or two. I don't put any salt on it because I don't need to be eating. I don't need to be eating salt. So <laughs> I don't have, I don't put salt on my margarita glasses. I don't get that fancy. <laughs> So I went to Dollar Tree and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a fall wreath for my mom. Um, so again, I bought a little bit of everything because I don't know what I'm gonna need. Um, and I'm gonna make it a wreath for myself. So extras will be great. So I guess I'll just show you guys what I got because I, I, like, to, I like to look at videos like that. So <laughs> this wreath is not necessarily Halloween, it's more fall so the leaves the, the scarecrows that kind of thing um so i have i bought little pumpkins i bought two of these packs the other one's in here so oh here it is um little pumpkins so really cute um i bought more of the dry the dry the dry the fake leave and all of that kind of stuff now I got these ones specifically because this one has another pumpkin um, and I just really like the way it looks. It just looks so cute. So I got that one. I got this one because it has the little, um, I don't know what that thing is called, <laughs> but it has an acorn and berries. And this one also has an acorn and berries. So that'll just kind of give texture to the wreath. Um, I also picked up a couple of these big pumpkins. I don't know if I'm going to use them on the wreath itself, but I thought it would be kind of cute to add it to like the bottom, you know, so like hot glue gun it um, to the bottom center part of the wreath. Um, so that was like an idea. And then I also picked up the larger bows, which I'm going to enhance it. So the bow itself, but then I'm going to add more ribbon to make it bigger. Um, and maybe I thought, you know, adding like a pumpkin to that. So I thought it would be cute. So I bought three of those because if I don't use it for the wreaths, these are so cute to add to just like the table as a centerpiece. So I had, I also got a white one because I think the white, the contrast with the white and the orange is really pretty. Um, so yeah. And then I got a whole bunch of ribbon. I better save my receipt just in case I have to return something. Um, so I, I bought a whole bunch of ribbon. This one has leaves and acorns on it. This one has pumpkins, which I thought was so cute. Um, they had this one, which is more like um, glittery and mesh with um, pumpkins. And then I went to the other section where they had more ribbons and I, they found, I found smaller packs. So this is just plain brown. Um, this is burlap with um, red polka dots. This one is burlap with the lace, which reminds me of my wedding because me and my husband, we did like a, like a barnyard kind of a theme wedding and it was so cute. Um, so I got those. I think there's a couple more ribbons in here, but they're probably in the bottom. Um, let me open, let me just open this window. Get a little bit more lighting in here <laughs> okay um so i got those and then i bought a couple packs of loose leaves 
because I'm gonna make a smaller, a smaller wreath. So this is the small one that I found, which I was so excited to see this one because I'm like, oh, this is cute, it's different. It's not the wire, the wire one that I'm gonna use. This is the one I'm gonna make for my mom because she wants a big one. But this one is cute because it's it's actually like the just the size of the center part. So um, this one, the, the big wire one is a 14 inch. This one is a diameter of nine inches. So it's um significantly smaller. And I think this would be cute. So I wanted to do this. Maybe I'll, I might make it for myself or I might make one for my mother-in-law because I'm, I'm just one of those people I'm nice. Um, <laughs> but I'm, it's a tester. So I don't know how well the, the um, how well I'm gonna be able to do all of this, but this one I thought would be really cute with this shorter pumpkin to put like here in the middle. Isn't that cute? So I have, I'm so excited to see how this turns out. And then this one I was thinking of using more of the leaves, the, um, the loose leaves versus like the mesh that I bought. So for my mom's, I got this sign. It says Harvest Blessings. So like, like my other one, I'm gonna have a sign in the middle and then the wreath stuff all around it. Um, and for this one, I didn't get a centerpiece because I figured I kind of want it open with just the leaves and stuff. And I'm gonna put like the pumpkin and then I bought another set of scarecrows because I thought I would put a scarecrow too. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna have a different look to it. And I'm gonna have so much material left over because I wasn't, like I said, I went overboard with buying what more than what I needed. So um, I can make more mini ones if I wanted to. And you know, make one for myself and my mom, my mother-in-law, whatever. Um, so I have the little scarecrows. I have another set in my other bag of stuff. And then I bought, oh, here's more of the ribbon. I bought a chocolate bar for myself. <laughs> um, this is the lace ribbon, so I thought that was pretty too. So a lot of this like extra ribbon stuff is um, an idea I have for this one. Not so much the tool, which is going to be used for the big wreath. So the tool, this is different. This is different from the one that I used for the Halloween one. So the Halloween one, it's a little bit smaller, like shorter in length. Um, this one is is tool. So I don't know how this is going to gather. I'm hoping that it'll work. But the picture itself, it's, itself shows it as, you know, it's for wreath making. So I think it'll work. You get less material with these. Um, by literally, I think it's an inch or a couple inches. So I bought a little bit extra and then they didn't have like, so they didn't have a lot to, uh, to choose from. So I bought three of the, like this brownish orangey color. Okay. I bought, um, three of the orange. So I know for sure, like the orange is, it, it looks on camera. It probably looks more red, but it's orange. <laughs> So my mom's wreath is gonna be like a blend of orangey, this orange color. And then I bought two, cause they only had two of the maroon, like a reddish maroon color. So that, and then I'm gonna do pops of um, green and pops of one of these. So I really like, I wasn't sure about this one cause it's, to me it's kind of, uh, I don't know how that's gonna work but I really like the way this one looks. It's like white with gold. So pops of that in here too. So we'll see how it works. I'm hoping I have enough material for the whole thing. If I don't, then you know, obviously I'm gonna have to go back and get more. I'll have to try a different Dollar Tree because the one I went to, um, <laughs> it seemed like, oh, and then I got little salt shakers because I don't have any and I thought the owls were so cute because they look like Luna. So I bought those. Um, the, tall, the Dollar Tree I went to was the same one that I went to the other day to buy the Halloween stuff. Um, so it looked like they have had people pick through like a lot of this, the, the materials to make the wreath stuff. So um, <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna play out. Oh, here's another ribbon, like an orangey yellow color. Um, so we, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But um, I bought the bigger ribbon specifically for the bigger wreath. So I think I'm gonna have enough material. Um, I bought four of each color of the last tool stuff for the Halloween one, and I only used three of each color, and not even all of it. So it was more like two and, and two and like three quarters of it that I used. So because this has less material, I think I'm gonna be right okay, like right on it. Like I think it'll be okay. 
So we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but <laughs> wish me luck, you guys. Um, I don't, I'm not really going to do much of like filming in between while I'm making this because I just want to take my time and just kind of, I don't know how it's all going to come out. I don't really know how I'm going to do this just yet. I like, like I said, I'd like to do this intuitively. Um, I have an idea of how I want it to look, but it's trial and error. <laughs> it is so trial and error. So Starla's already looking around at the table because she's, 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 she sees all the good stuff. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm going to do the rest of today. I picked up sushi, so it's on the countertop waiting for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be crafting all day today with some music playing and just enjoying the fact that it's only 85 degrees right now and it's windy and there's clouds and it feels like fall i have my pumpkin candle going like the last of my pumpkin candle you can see it right there on the table um so it's almost done and then i'm going to start another count i think i'm going to do my cinnamon candle next um and yeah so i'm just really enjoying today i'm having so much fun and i just feel i feel good so I feel like I needed this craft time <laughs> to divert my energy from just tarot readings and doing something different because you know how it is like when you get stuck on a routine, um, you tend to not, I don't want to say like, I, I don't, I don't dislike reading cards, but I get to the point where I need something else to focus my attention, which is why I jump into astrology and, and why I read on the side, like not reading cards, but why I read books on the side because it gets, it gives me something else to do. And, um, and so I'm not just like obsessively doing one thing all the time. So I like to, and I think that that's my Gemini rising. I like to have a couple different things to do to keep me entertained. And otherwise I get bored and I just like, I lose interest real fast so this has been getting my interest right now it's really relaxing like I said you're so, when you're crafting you're not thinking about other stuff at least I don't I have music on or I listen to a podcast so so yeah that's what I'm doing the rest of the day you guys um I'll post this up soon but I think I'm gonna wait a little bit maybe I'll show you guys like how my wreath is coming out we'll see but anyways thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you guys soon okay so, the original wreath that I was working on didn't come out the way I wanted it to, so I started with the smaller um, the smaller one that I bought, and here's the end result. So, I think this looks super cute. Um, my mom already likes it, I already sent her a picture. So, <laughs> um, definitely way easier to do this one, less, as, less time consuming, um, more glue gunning than anything else. Um, but I really, really like the way this one came out. Um, so yeah, that's my fall wreath. And I'm totally going to make more. I can even make some that go all the way around with the leaves. So I think I'll do that for myself. But um, not bad. <laughs> not bad. I need a nap now. <laughs> yes. Time for a nap. Super cute. <laughs> 